here. Said really fast so you don't even catch it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's a biggie. And if you're if you're stressed, if you're over 40 or 50 years old, chances are you're not making as much acid. Well, as you and we to. didn't even touch on hormones. Right, and then there's there's hormones, uh, bioidentical hormones for men. It's testosterone for women. It's estrogen. Do you mean men get osteoporosis and, too? Yeah, men oh get osteoporosis. I mean, don't you look? Look, you see these old guys hunched over. Well, we're pretty old too. Yeah, yeah we are hunched over. Well, we're not hunched over. You know, we're <laughs> no, we're taking we're our saying, we're yeah. taking our hormones and everything yeah, else. Yeah. But they're hunched over. They, you know, you could look at that person and say, yep, that guy's got no testosterone probably for decades and yeah. so he's developing osteoporosis sure. but stay tuned we're going to talk about we that can talk about in hormones. another video so another thing i wanted to touch on too is some of the other um, micronutrients that a lot of people don't hear about strontium is one of them and like Strontium's we sell a product a really called strontium one. citrate and so it's touch on that for a minute it's not radioactive by the way not so radioactive if strontium, you hear okay. strontium it's yeah. not it's the good strontium okay good um it's really good for reversing osteoporosis most people are low in it uh, the only thing about strontium that i would say is that you have to take it separately from other supplements so they usually will keep it you know like as a separate supplement so sure. that you do that on purpose they won't yeah. add it in with calcium and things like that right i don't see that uh the nice thing back to vitamin d is that if you don't want to take a capsule form of it a lot of companies do make like a sublingual drop so yes. it can be one less pill so to speak to take and just put a drop under your tongue and something like this uh, doses of vitamin d that you typically would have a person i know we can run blood levels and right. see but if right. if a person just says how much should i take well then consult your doctor that's I'm right going to say that yes but when i see my patients i'll have them take anywhere from three to ten thousand milligrams a day and in a it, drop form that's really easy this is two thousand yeah. per drop yeah. so and it just depends on what your levels come back at. Sure. You know, your yeah. doctor should be testing your levels. Yeah, that's great. Any other things that you wanted to talk about for bone health? Well, um, the other thing that's important for uh, bone health is um, your growth hormone levels, okay. okay? And you're saying, well, I don't need to grow anymore. I'm, I'm so many years old. But it, it should be really called repair hormone because growth hormone is repair hormone. It, it, it can reverse osteoporosis. Okay. And there's a lot of different ways of trying to increase growth hormone. One way is to actually take deer antler, okay? Yeah. And PRL, Premier Research Lab, and Mike's got it here at the pharmacy, it's called NZ Deer Antler. Right. It's from New Zealand, and you take one or two at night, and it's a great way to try to also try to help improve reverse osteoporosis. Right, that's awesome. Uh, well, remember, this little video is not meant to um, get between you and your physician. Oh, no, All we, of these things are really important oh, to see your physician before. We're not recommending anything uh, that's going to treat you medically that you should be working with your physician on. So, um, again, Correct thanks, Dr. Tabuzian, for being with oh, us you're today. Glad and to be here. Uh, stay healthy, my friends.